About a year and a half ago, uh, our director of engineering, Rick Gibbs, uh, who uses a Garmin watch and heart rate strap and is an avid triathlete, said, boy, I'd like to have an easier way to move my data to the internet. And he says, well, we know wireless, so uh, let's pick up one of the Ant radios and, and create a bridge product, uh, Ant the Wi-Fi bridge, which is the basic, the foundation of WASP. And so what this is, is basically a simple bridge that is able to capture any Ant Plus uh, signal from uh, Ant Plus sensors and take the packets and put it into Wi-Fi packets where you can then move it to the internet or to any defined endpoint. So it could go directly to an iPad or to a computer or to a uh, phone. And, and so the, it, it also is able to pick up many signals and go to one endpoint or to multiple endpoints. So it's, it's a many-to-one or many-to-many -many type of a solution. What we see now is that a lot of people are really interested in real-time capture of data, especially for groups of people. And so in fitness and sports, you have a lot of these athletic clubs that have group fitness or indoor cycling. You have sports teams that have athletes on the field that are, that are training or performing. And being able to capture real-time information is important to the coach or important to the instructor in the class. And the feedback that the individuals get in the class is just equally important for them to know how they're performing. Well, AMP Plus is absolutely vital because of the AMP Plus protocol makes it easy for uh, this product to capture information from basically any third-party sensor device that's out there. And they all talk to this uh, through WASP to the internet.